so if I spit on anyone in the program, I apologize already. Um, the show tonight is great. The guys have been writing all week. Uh, we've been working on it about 20 minutes ago, so we should be <laughs> really close to ready. They asked me this week if, they wanted, if I wanted help in my opening monologue, and I said, you know, I'll take care of that myself. I consider myself a funny guy. <laughs> pretty, pretty hysterical pretty much all the time. So I sat down on my computer, and I thought, I'll write something out. Just my quick thoughts, and of course, nothing at all came. Nothing <laughs> happened. There was nothing there. So I thought to myself, well, what do I do? What's funny? What do I have in my repertoire of hilariousness that I can break <laughs> out on people? This audience, you know, it's my first, I don't want to screw up the whole show. And I was like, well, what do I have? And I have this thing I do always, a little porno mime. I do a little <laughs> sexual <laughs> porno, but that's too hard to explain. <laughs> it, could go, it could go really two ways. So, and I thought, you know what I do that's always funny in any situation? I do this thing. And feel free to steal this from me. I do, I do this thing at any moment. I could just pull out my nutsack. I swear to God, it works. I mean, ladies, it's a little difficult, but you know, you then zip and you pull out a little brain, and there you go. And if people are freaking out and they're like angry or something, you just pull out a little piece of bubble gum. It's hilarious. So I was gonna do that in my opening act. It's really funny stuff, and I was like, I'll do it. I, so this morning, as I was getting ready for the show, I started going over my opening monologue, and my wife, who's in the audience, she's great. She's like, go ahead and run the show for me. Let me see what you do. And I start with my opening, and I come to the part where I pull out my, my little nuts, and I, I pull it out, and she said, that's not funny. <laughs> and I said, no. She said, it's not funny. I said, it's funny. She said, it's not funny. I said, fuck you, bitch. You're eight and a half months pregnant. You don't know how the fuck it's funny. And she took the kids and she fucking left. So I was like, I'm going to show her anyways. I'm going to do it. I don't care. I'm going to show her. And I got a text about 10 minutes ago from my wife. She's in the bar. She said, if you pull your nuts out, I'm calling the cops and you'll be arrested. <laughs> So I, I, I remedied that, and I'm going to show her if it's funny or not. Hey guys, could you uh, throw up the picture real quick for me? Uh, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, why did you bring these spears my nuts? Because that's not funny, man. <laughs> that's funny? No, it's not. That's really funny. The nutsack is funny. It's not funny at all. <laughs> There's a lot of people here. Is there anything you can do to, to make it a little funny? <laughs> and I told you, it's funny, right? So listen, it's a great show tonight. I, I do want to say one thing before we actually start the show, that um, I did say to the cast and crew and the writers that I have no interest in any way, shape, or form of doing like a Scooby-Doo thing. Like, <laughs> And like that's kind of like a, bat, a black part of my career. I want to move through it and pass it. Let's just not bring it up. So, unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> um, seriously, I'm not doing a Scooby Doo thing tonight. So, Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. <laughs> so, Joseph Rubar, everyone. I'm Ruby Roo. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though, but I, I actually said that, you know, when I sat down on Wednesday, I was like, I am not doing Scooby anything, so let's not do that. No Raggy? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Raggy? Dude, seriously, dude? Seriously. I'll rip you a Ruby Rack. <laughs> <laughs> How about Roo Ruby Rack? <laughs> it's not really that funny, I'm not doing it. You know what? <laughs> Matt, you know, I, I only do one impersonation. <laughs> Scooby fucking do. <laughs> but uh, I guess I'll just have to wait till someone else from the movie decides to guest star, you know? It won't be Sarah Michelle Geller because of the restraining order, but uh, <laughs> thanks for crushing my dreams. I'm sorry. Well, then, Duchesne. <laughs> 
<laughs> Come on, Matthew Shaggy. I'm not doing fucking Shaggy. Come on, where's Raggy? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.